Hello and welcome to the channel. It is uh, April 4th today and I thought I'd open this video with an introduction. If you watched my last video previous to this, you will see an upload of a memorial I made to my Czechoslovakian Vilchik. Well, there's the new guy, my new male puppy. Uh, shout out to Deb Janning and Guardian of the Carpathian for trusting me with this little guy. <laughs> He's a corker. And uh, my female I got last October uh, on a rehome. She just turned one on March 30th, the day we brought the new pup home. So you'll be seeing a lot of these two. <laughs> They're getting some liver treats. You'll be seeing a lot of these two in uh, videos to come. <clears throat> uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that notification button and the like button. And uh, we'll get into what we've been up to over the last six months. As I said in a previous video, it was a heck of a second half of 2023 with surgeries and uh, <laughs> close up of the little guy and taking care of elderly parents after falls and so we're back at it but we did do some work in January February of this year uh, for some internal infrastructure and we'll start by showing you some of that uh, if you make any comments, I'd appreciate it. I respond as soon as I see them, which is not always right away, but I do try to respond to your comments. Please remember to keep your comments constructive and clean. And let's go into the shop right now. All right, a quick note here. Looking at a heater that I built this winter when I had a little time and the weather wasn't uh, the best, but I had some old... Um, electric wall heaters uh, taken out of use. I'm a master electrician, so I was allowed to uh, have some of these that uh, a customer wanted to replace. So I actually stacked them here in an assembly. There's uh, four of them, 2,000 watts each, and it's got 8,000 watts of power. Uh, and what we built this for is in the event in the uh, greenhouse, we need some quick heat. So, uh, these heaters will work out nice for that. And on top, you've seen I put a circulation fan here. It's a kind of a high output fan in the event we need to uh, help with cooling and, or heating in uh, the uh, Wallapini greenhouse. I uh, went ahead and put this large blown cable on because it's, uh, we plug it into probably about uh, 50 amps of power. So uh, the heaters the uh, I talked about that I repurposed, they're cadet, just plain old 2000 watt cadet heaters. So anyway, this is, I just wanted to show you a, sh a quick video of this and you can get to see what I'm doing and, and that will be in the Wallapini if we need to supplement heat. All right, we're at the uh, south side of the Wallapini, outside here. It'll be a one slope roof on this. Uh, coming down this way. So we've got a lot of probably water and rain, possibly moisture heading this way. So we're putting in this drain field, uh, two separate lines. And I put a French drain at the end here and there's coffee cans. That's just covering so we don't get rock in the pipe. And before I did that, I put some screen so we don't get mice or gophers or any type of rodents or insects in the pipe uh, when I'm putting this together. So. I uh, thought we'd show this in our uh, construction phase here, and uh, it's the entire length of the south side of the uh, Wallapini greenhouse. So, uh, and uh, on this end, I've got another French drain uh, with uh, down here, just basically a six foot hole with lots of this cobblestone rock in it, and, uh, and this uh, drain field is actually uh, perforated as you can see with holes and um, it's the high point of it is right here in the center of the wallapini so it will be draining this way 
and this way to the west. So that gives you a good perspective. And what I'll be doing next is you can see that white canvas. I'll be putting that over the top and then putting some, uh, some uh, one and a half to two inch wash cobblestone over the top of that uh, canvas. And uh, that canvas is uh, permeable where it allows moisture and water and uh, that type of thing, but no dirt, no sediment, no sand through it. So that's why I'm putting that rock on top of that. And I'll show that process. So I wanted to give you a better look at this as we're at this stage of the, the project. All right, so Jim is uh, stringing the perf uh, <clears throat> the porous canvas over the top of this perforated drain field pipe. And we'll run this the length of it. The reason we're doing this, that's just, as he said, to keep dirt and gravel out of plugging those holes so that it it's just taking water away. previous video I mentioned that we get this this uh, filter cloth canvas from a mining company that uses it in their wet process uh, and uh, taking talc that's T-A-L-C and pressing the moisture out of it compacting it so this is in their Larox filters my little guy here, uh, so most of our dogs <clears throat> that we've ever had have been rescued dogs. Uh, my female here, she was a rehome, but we've always tended to go to rescue services. Wind's picking up, so I gotta talk louder. We've always tended to go to rescues, but a Czechoslovakian Vilchik and it's spelled V-L-C-I-A-K. Uh, and the A-K-C just approved the change of the spelling of Vilcek to V-L-C-I-A-K from V-L-C-A-K because the Slovakian term for that, <clears throat> they have letters that we don't have in our alphabet in English. So it's more closer to how you pronounce the, much closer you can pronounce the breed of the dog. Back to what I was saying, normally we take in rescues, but these dogs, which are my favorites, he's my third one, are very rare to find. There's not very many of them in the United States. Jim and I are not spring chickens anymore. Waiting for one to come up in a rescue might have been a long time coming. Both my other Vilchuk dogs that we adopted, just real flukes on how we found them, very serendipitous. So we decided to get a puppy. Then we don't have to untrain on bad habits. Jim is making sure that that canvas is tucked pretty tight up against the wall of the pit greenhouse. That is the south wall, so this drain field runs from east to west. I should say this way, from east to west. Once he gets that pretty tied up against there, he's gonna throw some of that gravel on onto the uh, tarp to hold it in place. And then we'll put the gravel all along the top of this canvas. And then we will do the backfill with a big dirt pile right there. I'm 
I'm going to pause here until he's ready to throw some gravel down. I had to walk over here for a minute and see what he was doing. He pulled the chucks that go up against the tires here. He pulled them out. Strong. Ah, 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 ah. No chew. Not a toy. They love to chew. 